Welcome to another episode of Focal Matter. I'm going to start this one just a little bit differently and run a video and all the pictures first. So sit back and enjoy. I'll talk after. But wasn't that nice? I'm sure if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm not a fan of my own photographs and I've rarely liked anything that I've taken since I started this channel to the point where I was even pondering to carry on making these videos because I just couldn't get behind my own photographs. But a last minute trip to London, a box of Ilford XP2, and just some new inspiration in my life that has absolutely just re-sparked my love for photography. Um, to the point that when I got these photographs back, I didn't even think I was the one who took them. That video was inspired while I was editing it, purely from the sounds of all the footage. Um, it was just a, it wasn't planned. I wasn't even sure I was gonna make a video, but I just, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Just a little bit of me, just creativity, no toilet humor, you know, no, sarcasm and no swearing now f that sh and let's talk about ilford xp2 and i know ilford are pretty much like the top of the black and white game so i won't say expectations were high but there is a certain expectation there i can't really go into all the technical details because 
I just don't get it and it's not me but there's a link in the description from Paul at Analog Wonderland who explains it all very very well which if you're interested go and click that um, I took the rest of the roll to Blackpool um, back up in the northwest and probably on the brightest day that I could shoot on um, and if I'm going to be honest with you, I was more than impressed with the results. So I kept this at ISO 400. So yeah, I guess run the uh, run the next video clip. That film roll just nailed it. It's flexible on all sorts of lighting environments, um, which I hope I've kind of showcased with a dreary day in London and a blistering bright day in Blackpool. Um, it's cheaper to develop, you know, so it's the same chems, you know, you probably get it back quicker from your from your lab, depending on how busy they are. Um, it's just a. I just think it's a really, really good film role. I, I think, I think black and white in general. I'm just more swaying towards black and white, which I've never really swayed towards. I, I'm just falling in love with it more, and that's it. I'm just gonna keep this video super, super simple. I, uh, I advise anyone hundred percent to to go out shoot this film, and play around with it. It's easy, flexible. It's cheap. I mean. You know it's easy when you watch one of my videos and even I don't f*** it up. 